Hi guys, sorry the screen froze. Do you hear me? Hi. Um. Okay, let's start this. Um, as always, I have my questions ready. I will be uh, checking my computer. I will be trying here and my notes because I have made many notes uh, for today's questions because I have received many great questions from you guys. So um, let's start with it, this. Uh, first one is by Mafer Milan. Uh, how does LP deal with the quarantine? I really, I have no idea. Uh, I think uh, she and Lauren are just trying to, you know, connect uh, with their friends. Uh, I know they are uh, mostly staying at home and um, uh, Lauren said that in one of her lives that uh, they've made a pact that um, they are basically in LA, they are on a lockdown, so they are mostly in their home and just, you know, connecting. Lauren is doing those live chats and I think LP is most, uh, more on her phone with friends. Uh, she's uh, more private right now. Uh, again, question about the wedding and if LP is planning to come to Mexico this year. Uh, I don't know about the wedding. Um, I think uh, the South Tour was postponed till December. Uh, so I think um, if Mexico will be happening, then I think it uh, it will happen also in December. Um, uh, Dasha from Moscow asked me what kind of LP's hairstyle uh, I like the most, now or uh, the one from two years ago. Uh, you know, I'm very, um, how do you say that, I'm very uh, traditional. So uh, I always prefer women with longer hair. I keep my hair longer. Uh, even if I cut them shorter, I always get back to long hair. But when it comes to LP, she has such a unique style and she has such a unique personality that um, I think whatever she does with her hair, she looks really good. I prefer uh, the older, uh, sorry, the, um, when, she's, when her um, hair grows a little longer. But I really don't mind if she is keeping them shorter or longer. I just, um, you know, when someone is comfortable in their own skin, when the, someone is comfortable, comfortable with uh, how they look, how they feel, uh, it's, it really doesn't matter if, if her hair are shorter or longer. I think uh, this, the hairstyle that she's carrying is suiting her no matter what, uh, what hair she's uh, wearing. Okay, next question. Ille um, uh, from Sweden. Uh, she asked me if uh, I have ever visited LP or and Lauren in their home. No, no, I never. I, you know, I'm I'm just a fan. I'm not a, like a real friend. I'm just a fan uh, who met LP on several occasions. Um, also, LP lives in Los Angeles, uh, so uh, I've never been to the United States. I wish it's my huge dream to, to see New York and, and LA, uh, but I have a huge fear of flying. So flying for me uh, to USA and to LA, I have no idea. Uh, my native language is Polish. I'm from Poland. I live in Poland. Uh, so yeah, traveling to LA and to United States would be quite a challenging for me. Mm. Another question, Kailoe asks me again about um, bio about, uh, or wait, mm, because my blog contains uh, many facts about LP and uh, my writing uh, to either write uh, a, a bio about LP or contribute to a biography. You know, uh, bios, biography books are one of my favorite books to read. So uh, writing such book, it's very challenging. And I've mentioned this several times before. Uh, Writing a good bio requ requires uh, good writing skills and requires requires uh, great knowledge of the subject and requi requires 
I don't know, that's something extra. And um, yeah, I think I would love to either contribute to a biography or uh, even to write more like a memoir, something like this, uh, that would be based on my experience and more uh, would be based on my um, interaction with LP and how we met and how we continue uh, our well, sort of friendship, but like I said, it's more like a fan friendship. It's uh, we are not as that close as uh, as real friends are. Um, someone asked me about my about books and uh, etc. And I have prepared one book um, that was written by Jim Hatton about Freddie Mer Mercury. I've written. Uh, I sorry. I've read this book first in. Uh, English language in original language. Then I've written, uh, I've read this in uh, English language, and um, Jim Hatton was uh, his last and you know his most. I don't know how to say it. Um, they've been together till the end, and the way he wrote about him, he used very simple language because he was a simple man, but. Um, the way he wrote about him uh, made me feel uh, like I was with them and uh, living those moments. And uh, yeah, so I think if I would be to write a book about LP, I would like to, uh, I would like it to be more like a memoir from my point of view. I think at the moment, but I, I don't know. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out this. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I just, it's something that's been floating in my head for a long time. And I think it's also not, uh, it's, not uh, it's not the right time to write such a book. Uh, I think we should uh, wait a little bit longer because LP is still, uh, she's still uh, changing. She's still gaining fame. She's still uh, making, uh, what she said in one of the interviews, uh, she wants to conquer the world, yeah? <laughs> she wants to uh, have a big, huge fan base and I think she will, uh, she, will, uh, she will have this at some point. She's already huge, but you know, I think she will be even bigger. Uh, okay, let's see what's, what's next. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Fabian Jones asked me what's the ultimate question I'd like to ask LP in an interview, but I never dared to uh, ask before. You know, there is one question I would love to ask, but uh, again, it's not uh, it's not time uh, for that question yet. Uh, I think I will ask it at some point, but not yet. I'm not going to tell you what that question is. But yeah, there is one question. Mm. Oh, and LP official Salvador asked me about the history of the song No Witness. Why I did LP wrote this? And I prepared my answer for that question um, because uh, I was also interested in the song. And uh, I think I, f I remember only one article, one interview in, uh, in which LP uh, talked mo uh, more about origins of the song. But bear in mind, this article was um, conducted in English, then translated to French, and then by me was translated from French back to English. So it's not, uh, uh, so don't take it as a very accurate translation, just more like a story that LP said to that interviewer. Uh, and it was, um, that interview took place in Casablanca when LP was playing for Jazzablanca uh, in uh, April of 2017. And she said um, that this is a song she wrote without knowing that it will end up uh, being a song for her because um, it was intended for a television, I think, I'm not sure about uh, either program or some series, maybe even uh, for Orange is the New Black, but I don't know. I, I really don't know because they don't um, talk more about the subject. Uh, only that someone um, approached LP to write a song for some uh, television program or series. That was uh, the theme of the program was about good people who ended, uh, who ended up doing bad or uh, bad things. And um, 
KLP also says in this interview that she has just gone through a dark period uh, in her life with her ex-girlfriend, who was, um, her ex-girlfriend was uh, a good person, but who uh, did a lot of uh, bad things. So uh, she spoke about, uh, about the song uh, with the gentleman that ordered the song from her. And uh, when uh, they talked about the subject, they talked about the theme of the, uh, the show, and uh, he played her the melody, you know, the starting melody of uh, No Witness. Dum, dum, da, da, dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, da, da, dum, dum. And when she uh, heard this melody, she just went to the booth and in 45 minutes the song was born. So that's mostly the story about how this song happened. So it wasn't something she was um, writing from, um, from her own perspective. Well, it was from her own pers perspective, but it wasn't something that was planned. It was something that happened, you know, uh, because someone asked her to play, uh, to write a song for a show. <clears throat> I don't think she ever uh, said anything else about the song, you know, more. Uh, so if if anyone ha has uh, another interview or some article about that, please let me know. <clears throat> okay, next question. Sorry, I have froze my computer by mistake. Mm. Okay, so uh, who are my favorite authors and what books uh, impressed me the most? Mm, you know, I'm a huge... Um, when I was younger, I used to read all the time. Mm, now, uh, when the TV and the computer is... Uh, and the TV shows and movies and uh, everything is so... Up, mm, approachable to all, to all of us. I spent more time on my TV and on my computer than in when reading books, but uh, I still love books and I still love reading books and I have prepared myself for that question <coughs> because I have many authors that I love. Uh, I have many books that I love. So uh, I love, like I've mentioned it before, I love reading biographies and uh, my favorite bi biographies, uh, there is a dim comment to those biographies. It's about Audrey Hepburn, uh, Virginia Woolf, Sylvia Platt and Frida Kahlo. Uh, so women, strong women, women who, uh, who achieved something uh, by working very hard and by, uh, you know, they had difficult lives but they overcome their difficulties and they've made something of their lives. Not every life of them ended happily, but still, uh, they have achieved something incredible. Also, when I was a younger girl, I, uh, I loved reading uh, Lucy Mon Montgomery and uh, Little Woman. Don't, I don't remember the author of Little Woman, but it's a classic. Uh, also, from classic books, uh, I loved reading uh, Arthur Conan Doyle and his uh, books about Sherlock Holmes and... Uh, also, I love uh, criminals, medical thrillers, so John Grisham, uh, Dan Brown, and I think my favorite author is Jane Austen, so very classical uh, author. Um, I think my favorite book that I read over and over again is Pride and Prejudice. I also love uh, the series she did. Uh, sorry, uh, the series that was based on the book, the original series, British series, in 1995. <clears throat> and also, I love Charlotte Bron Br uh, Bronte and uh, Wuthering Heights. And from Polish authors, uh, I love, if you are from Poland, I loved uh, reading when I was a younger girl, uh, Małgorzata Musierowicz. And uh, I really loved poems by Halina Poświatowska. I also uh, like to read poetry. So, yeah, those are the out authors that are maybe worth checking for you. And also, I really like uh, the series by Diana Gabaldon, Outlander. Uh, they've made a television series uh, about uh, from that books. Um, and it is also really mm, good and ent entertaining. Some of the books are just, mm, in moments, there are too much. But I think it's also very enjoy enjoyable and I think uh, you will like it too. 
I will scroll some of the questions. Who is my role model? Uh, my huge role model was Audrey Hepburn. Uh, yeah, I think she was the first woman who uh, inspired me. Uh, have similar, yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, Poświatowska, yes, she's great, I love her. Uh, let me check your questions, I don't want to miss anything, sorry, because I've seen some. Uh, let me check, sorry. Hi, Ewa Zudańska. I'm sorry, I don't speak Russian, I don't know. Yes, I am safe, Lara. I, I think I'm okay, I'm doing good. Hello to all my friends who are saying hi, hi uh, to everyone. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if I have missed something, I'm sorry. I'm trying to... I know someone asked me uh, if I would do a live with LP. Uh, I know I would love to, but I'm I'm not sure if she has the time for for this uh, or uh, you know. I will try, but I I cannot promise anything. Um, <clears throat> okay, sorry, I still have a sore throat. Mm, let's get back to your questions here. And this is the question that is very difficult to answer because someone asked me why I have decided to do a blog about LP and why I go so deep in that blog and uh, what is so different about LP that I... Uh, um, that I've decided to pursue uh, this as a blog. You know, it's uh, like I've mentioned this before in my earlier uh, chat. Mm. It all started, uh, I started blogging in 2011 uh, when I started to suffering from neurosis and anxiety and some mild depression. I've been, you know, I have many different uh, things that interest me. I love books, I love movies, I love uh, music, I love uh, dancing, I love, I have so many, you know, ideas in my head and I needed something, uh, you know, to occupy my mind because I was going a little bit crazy. Um, I needed something to uh, to focus my mind because if I didn't find that, um, this, I think I would, yeah, I was in a <clears throat> really bad place in, uh, at that time. And it all started with, a, believe it or not, royal wedding of uh, Kate Middleton, now the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William. So it started with a royal world. Mm, I started blogging about uh, the, the Duchess of Cambridge, uh, her duties, uh, her patronages and so on. But um, I was very, I was very soon bored by by her. I I don't know. I you know I always looking for women that uh, have their own voice, have their uh, their own personality, that they want to achieve something, and simply she was um, uh, she was always more in the background. She was uh, more like uh, I don't know. She didn't fit the role model that I thought that she would be for me. Sorry, I think the screen froze. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, I, it started with the Duchess of Cambridge, but like I said, I. it was something that I've, you know, with the reality comes uh, a privilege, but also comes huge responsibility. And then I found, uh, uh, another woman that was very interesting to me and it was the Countess of Wessex. Um, 
It was the wife of the youngest son of Queen Elizabeth II. And I've started blogging about her because, you know, she was very interesting. She had her own voice, she, has, uh, she had her own personality, she had a very nice style, uh, she had uh, her own voice. She used to be a PR person, so she, she was very well spoken. And it was someone who was more to my liking, to, who was more um, committed to her real duties and so on. So I started to blog about her. And at that, when I was starting the, the blog about her, it was in, I think, 2012 or 13 when I started to uh, write about her. <clears throat> uh, she was really not that much known. Uh, I mean, she was known by, by her royal subject and so on, but she was that. She, there was very little information about her in the internet. No one was covering her uh, royal duties because she was so-called lesser royal. Uh, she was um, she was not known as much as Prince William, okay, the, uh, the Duchess of Cambridge, or the Queen Elizabeth, of, of course. Uh, so I started to blog about the Countess of Wessex and, uh, you know, I, I I think I can say this, I was so good that uh, even the Royal Office wrote to me and uh, thanked me for my work because when I, start my, uh, when I started my blog I, uh, I first approached the Royal Office of Her Royal Highness and I asked if they would be okay if doing the blog about the Countess, if they are okay, if they could help me with the photos, etc. Uh, but uh, they said, yeah, sure, okay, no problem, you can do your blog, but, um, but they cannot endorse it in any way, they won't be able to help me, but sure, I can start this little project. And so I started blogging about the Countess of Wessex and uh, I think a year later I received uh, a mail from the Buckingham Palace, believe it or not. Uh, so imagine my surprise, imagine my excitement uh, when they thank me for my work, for uh, what I've been doing and how I've been doing, that I was very... Um, professional in what I did and it was really... Uh, it's. It was start of a really great friendship. Not, uh, I don't, I cannot say that it was a friendship with the countess. No, 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 no. It was um, her private assistant at that time, and we've been in touch ever since uh, that time when he first wrote to me, <clears throat> and he has helped me many times. I've been helped with photos and some information. Mm, they didn't endorse my blog, but they have helped me many times and, uh, you know, I've had their blessing and it was uh, really great. Mm, but <clears throat> at some point uh, something started to change, uh, then the royal office, the royal, um, they started the royal website for every royal in the family. <clears throat> the people in the uh, office of her Hall, of, of the Countess of Wessex also changed and um, and the person who was uh, used to in touch with me also changed and he was no longer the, the private, private assistant, someone was else doing the, their job. And I noticed that something changed, I didn't know what happened, uh, I didn't know why they stopped uh, contacted me with me, why they stopped changing, uh, checking emails, etc. And I was, you know, uh, when you put so much mm, mm, effort and so much, uh, so much of your time, because, you know, at some point I've been, I've been blogging, uh, I was doing my LP blog, I was doing my, uh, uh, the Duchess of Cambridge blog and I was doing uh, Sophie Wasek's blog. So I was doing three blogs at one time and on top of that, of course, I was still working as a teacher. <laughs> so, you know, I, if that would be like this year, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how I manage that really for, uh, and I've been doing that for like about two years, I think. Uh, sorry, I don't know how, I'm, how I managed it, but I somehow managed this and um, you know, it was never again. I never the started uh, blogging for um, to earn money or for fame or for I don't know. I just started this as a project for me because I needed something to keep me sane, for uh, something to occupy my mind, and yeah. So it started like a project. 
you know, for me. And then I've had so many great uh, readers, so many people who are uh, really great uh, and writing to me and thanking me for what I'm doing. Like I now I have so many uh, great and awesome, re uh, awesome readers like you. And uh, I'm in touch with all of you. And I met many of you at the concerts. And uh, yeah, so uh, it was really a wonderful time for me. Uh, when it comes to the royal block, uh, I'm sorry I'm rambling today. I'm not, I think I'm, I don't know. I don't feel so great today. I'm sorry. but. Uh, when I was doing my royal block, I didn't man, met many of my uh, of that readers. I only exchanged words with them by email or by messages or by comments. And <clears throat> but I knew that I have a really great following. And what was also important, I put the Countess of Wessex on map. I've put her in the spotlight. When I started writing about the Countess, you couldn't really find anything about her in the in the press in anywhere really i've started working with her patronages i've i've proved you know like a valuable person and uh, i think i did a really good job and uh, it was uh, really a, a project that was very close to my heart and uh, it was something that I spent, I think, five years of my life, or if not longer. And uh, I've put my heart and soul into this project. Uh, so when the communication stopped and when finally um, I received an email, but like an email from a general office, not even from the uh, royal office, I just received an email, yeah, that... Uh, Sure, I can go on with my blog, but they cannot endorse it in any way. Um, I just realized that, uh, you know, they broke my heart. What can I say? They broke my heart because uh, when you put your heart and soul for five years into something, when you don't expect anything in exchange, I didn't ask for endorsement. I didn't ask for their... Um, for anything really, I just wanted their help, you know, with photos, when, uh, with information, that was all that I wanted. Uh, so when that communication stopped, I was really, you know, my heart broke. Uh, also, there was, uh, it was at the time, um, I'm not sure if you know the Duchess of Cornwall, it's the, uh, she's the wife of Prince Charles. And uh, she... She is not, uh, I, I don't know how to say it, um, because of the history of Prince Charles, of Prince Charles and uh, Lady Diana, uh, Princess Diana, uh, she is not like a very much likable figure in, in the royal world. I think she is really uh, interesting woman as well. She's really great, but uh, for public, she is not as that... Uh, you know, because of the story of Princess Diana and so on, I'm not going to explore that subject. But she's really great uh, with her patronages. She's really kind. She's really nice. And uh, one day, what really shocked me, uh, there was one girl who was doing not even a blog. She was just doing uh, like Tumblr, uh, you know, this website Tumblr. And she was doing like uh, only taking pictures of her and just writing some great, uh, some really nice comments uh, about Duchess of Cornwall. And she was supporting the Duchess of Cornwall with the Stumble uh, website. And the Duchess of uh, sorry, the Duchess of Cornwall, when she came with a visit to her country uh, where that girl lived, she did something extraordinary. She invited that girl to a meeting she had in that country and she you know thanked her in person for t for the job that she was doing for her uh, for her support and so on and when i saw that uh, future mm, i know they are you know it's uh, british uh, royal family is very complicated they are saying she won't be a queen consort but she will be a duchess a, pri a princess uh, don't mind me. Uh, 
but she is the wife of a future king of England. And if the wife of future king of England can do such a nice and uh, great gesture for her fan, who is only supporting her with a Tom Brew website, uh, I realized that Like I said, they broke my heart. What can I say? And uh, also, at that time, I was already blogging about LP. And, <clears throat> and LP showed me the world that was so welcoming, so giving, uh, that was so open and honest. And uh, I started to question my uh, royal love, my royal... Uh, I don't know. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, I just started to question the world and my uh, amazement with that world. I just started to see it as a fake, as, as something... Uh, yeah, they are, you know, yeah, look at me, but don't touch me, don't come closer to me. Not everyone, of course, not everyone. But that's how I felt at that time. And uh, so, yeah... Uh, that's why I stick with LP for uh, for this time and why I'm sticking with LP because she showed me that it is possible, that it is possible to, you know, uh, to be kind, to be, uh, to be nice, to, um, to have respect, uh, to be including and to be loving and to, um, even if she has a crazy schedule and even if she is really tired or... Uh, I don't know, she always finds the time for me and yeah, I think that's why LP. And also she's very real and honest and she... <clears throat> I don't know, there's something different about LP. Maybe because I met her in person, maybe because we uh, we could connect, maybe we could, because we could talk uh, to each other. That's why uh, I stick with LP and that's why... Uh, I don't know. There's so many different factors about why I will write about LP. You know, like I said, it started with a, with a, it started with a real world, but now it changed to a real world, to a world that is, you know, like this is the world when I find my friends, my people, my uh, my like Lauren uh, sings, my tribe. So yeah, that's why uh, LP is so close to my heart and that's why I am still writing about LP and that's why I'm, um, yeah, like someone said, one door closes and another door opens. You know, I thought uh, <clears throat> when I was writing five years about her, uh, it was it was really a long a longer because it started in 2011. I started blogging uh, a little later because uh, I didn't know how to start. It was, you know, uh, it was like a journey for me. It is still a journey. So yeah, it's been almost 10 years in the making. Uh, so mm, it was the journey that started with something else and brought me here where I'm at now in this place uh, where I connect with my readers like this uh, and it is something incredible and extraordinary and um, you know my the Countess of Wasak uh, blogs blog is still online you can still find it uh, just type the Countess of Wasak blogs uh, blog sorry and you will find it uh, it is still online I still keep it online but it hasn't been updated in a year because uh, you know it took me almost a year to to let go of that feeling to let go of that uh, disappointment and let go of that um, I don't know I'm a very loyal person so to let go something that meant so much to me it was very hard uh, for me it was I had to do a, a lot of work yeah so uh, that's how it started and when I met LP 
you know, she opened this, uh, like she said, when she took a, uh, she took a yuk, uh, ukulele opened the uh, heart for music for her. And when I met LP and her music, she opened my heart uh, for something else, for a different world, for uh, for a world uh, that is approachable, that, you know, I can travel and I can meet my friends, I can meet you, I can uh, talk to you. I've met so many of you. Uh, when I was traveling to concert, I I know most of you, and uh, it's something really extraordinary uh, how much we are all connected because of LP and because of what she's doing for us. So yeah, I think uh, I don't know if I explained this question well. I hope I did, uh, and I'm sorry if I missed some of uh, of your questions. I will scroll back. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Uh, yeah, honest and people always stick together. I don't know, if you have any questions, just put them uh, in the comment section. I will check uh, again here. <coughs> I'm sorry, like I said, I'm, I'm not doing today great. I don't know why. I think it's a very still, it's still a very... Uh, it's very different, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, subject for me and I can I think I still uh, I think I overcome this but you know it's still somewhere in my mind okay let's check your questions again <clears throat> oh yeah maybe I will finish with that question because uh, let's end on a positive note uh, I cannot read. Uh, Olga23 Larina. Uh, she asked me, what's the funniest thing I've heard uh, from LP? Uh, you know, LP is very, uh, very funny person. She's very, uh, she has so such a great sense of humor. She's such, uh, she has this aura about her. She has this, um, I don't know, she makes the room brighter. Uh, I think it's the sign because she's the, she's pissed as like Carolina from Czech, my friend. And she has something about her that makes her really, uh, I don't know, it's so hard to explain. You know, she has this aura about her. When you, uh, when you are in her presence, you just feel this. You feel her warm, you feel her, uh, you feel her, uh, this good fluids, this, mm, this, mm, there is something so great about LP and uh, it's hard to describe in words and there is also great chemistry about her. And when it, each time we meet, uh, I'm always very nervous. I love her. I really love her. And uh, But I think I've said this before. It's not... Uh, I know many girls, uh, many even men are in love with LP, like, you know, in love. Uh, because I don't know. Many would want them. Uh, many would want LP to be her uh, their girlfriend. Uh, it's not like that with me. Uh, LP for me is like a role model. For me, she is more like uh, someone I look up to. I love her more like a friend, more like a mentor, more like uh, someone who is very close to me. So uh, who has this very deep soul and this uh, something great about her. And so yeah. Uh, when we meet, I'm always very nervous because I would love to say so many things to her, but I'm always so, uh, I don't know, I forget. When I'm in her presence, I almost always forget what I wanted to say and what I wanted to ask. And also uh, because of my anxiety, I'm always shaking like mad. So yeah, uh, when we meet, I'm just, you know, shaking, very nervous. And uh, even Talaya, when she sees me, she always jokes, why are you so nervous? Why are you shaking? Why are you... Uh, just relax, you should, you know, she always jokes that I should drink, have a drink, and just, you know, relax. And uh, so, yeah, I think the funniest thing I've heard from LP was when she was in Poland, uh, when uh, we met in, uh, she was doing an interview for a radio, for I think it was in Zetka in Warsaw. <clears throat> I was waiting for her when uh, she was finishing the interview. I was waiting in the hall in the building and f uh, she finally came to us. And of course, I was again shaking like mad. 
and she came to me and uh, I, I just talked a few words with her and she uh, hugged me and we were taking this picture and she started laughing as she said that I'm like a little vibra vib vibrator <laughs> because I'm always shaking. Yeah, so that was the funniest thing I think she ever said about me and to me and yeah, I remember everyone laughed. So yeah, I'm a little vib vibrator. Uh, yeah, so I think, you know, I have so many uh, great memories uh, about LP, so yeah. I think I would leave, leave today's chat with that one. Um, again, I really wanted to thank you for your, uh, for your questions. I'm sorry, I really, I don't know so what happened. I was so ready, so prepared, so eager to do this. And then I just, I don't know what happened, sorry. But I hope you still find something interesting in what I have wanted to, to, to say to you. And I'm sorry if I missed some of your questions. It was just, yeah, it was really great and funny. I remember her um, assistant was staying with her, uh, some other people, because many people were in that hall and they were all started to laughing because she said it, you know, uh, she said it loudly too, so everyone could hear it. So yeah, everyone started to laugh. Yeah, but you know, she's funny, but she's never uh, funny in a mean way. She's always, you know, she just speaks her mind. She speaks what uh, what she thinks, and I love that about her. That she is this open and honest person, and that's what I love the most about her. That she is, you know, that she is just her LP and. Yeah, so again, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for listening to my rambling and for uh, for your questions and for, you know, uh, for sticking with me. So yeah, thank you again. And I, uh, I hope I'll see you again soon. Thanks and bye. Thank you so much again. I will read your uh, questions and your LP Sand, uh, uh, she uses uh, Tam Dao. Tam Dao. Well, I think, well, she used to uh, use Tam Dao, Diptych uh, by Tam Dao. It's a uh, unisex scent. Uh, I think uh, I love this scent. I love, I, I bought it my, for myself like a year ago and I wear it. Uh, you know, it's very hard for me to, to shop for perfume because my skin smells very sweet. Uh, so when I bought this perfume, it was like, uh, yeah, that's my, my scent because, uh, because of that, uh, of it is both for men and women. It's just something, yeah, it's just great. I, I think you, you will love it too. Uh, I'm not sure if she still uses this perfume. Uh, I think she changed it a bit, but yeah, I know that at one point she used this one. Okay. So again, thank you very much for everything. Thanks for tuning in and, uh, if you are not bored with me and it, maybe we will do this again sometime. Take care and bye.